Hey everyone, I got the new Rokinon 14mm autofocus lens for Christmas and I just wanted to try it out on my Canon RP and I didn't really have anything to do but I did remember I had to replace the air filter on my Honda XR so I figured I could do that while I sampled the lens. So let's do it. We can start by taking off the side panel and the air filters underneath that. So far, I really like the lens. I haven't used it that much, but I've done a little bit of video and taken some fun photos with it. It's really wide angle, which I love. I had the 17 to 40 Canon L, um, but that wasn't quite wide enough for me. So I want to go a little wider, and I think that this 14 is great. So we can reach in there and unscrew this. As you can see, this old filter is quite dirty, so I'll need to put a new one in. I'm working on a 2002 Honda XR200, and I purchased a unit filter that needs to be oiled on Amazon, so I'm gonna oil it up and install it. One thing I really like about this lens that none of the other lenses had was autofocus. I do a lot of videos myself, and so being able to track myself through the autofocus is great. I had another fisheye, it was a Kiev camera fisheye from Ukraine, and that was a really fun fisheye, but it didn't have autofocus, and so if I, oops, sorry about that, my battery died, and I had to go get a new battery. Um, what I was saying was that my old lens, my old fisheye was a manual focus, and this one's automatic, and so it makes it a lot easier when I'm filming myself. So I can get them closer, come far away, and it does a really good job with tracking. All right, so remember when we're oiling this filter, you really wanna massage the oil in everywhere. You don't wanna twist it because that'll rip it, just massage it in. And I'm using a two-stroke iPhone oil uh, just because I have a lot of it. I use it on all my two-strokes and it smells like strawberries. I wish you guys could smell it, it smells great. All right, let's go install it. All right, uh, we got it, so now we just have to slide it in. Let's see. There we go. And then put the little wing nut in. Now we just have to put the air filter cover back on. I have my aperture right now set to, I think, eight and my shutter speed is um, a 50th of a second. And I have my ISO set for auto. So that way it'll adjust automatically. There we go. Okay. We're all done. All right, that's all it takes to change the air filter on the XR200R. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions about the lens, let me know. I'm thoroughly satisfied. Thanks, bye.